Marzano's practice is probably at the root of my philosophy for, as a teacher. It's that students should be getting what they need, and um, a lot of times uh, we kind of try to dictate that to them. So Marzano's practice is also influential to my class because it allows the students to self-assess themselves as to where they are. At the end of a lesson, I'll ask the students to hold up a one through a four using Marzano's scale as kind of a guide, and um, they self-assess themselves as to where they are. As a result of where they assess themselves, my students then go to differentiated practice. So for example, level threes who self-assess themselves as needing just more practice, they might go on to a program like IXL where they'll get repeated questions thrown at them, while level fours might get more challenging enrichment work or even help some of the lower levels. The ones and twos uh, are close to me um, so that I can kind of see where are their missteps, where are their misconceptions, and help them out. I want to know where you're at before you show me. Look and see what you have to do. Remember, this is about you taking care of business. So during our next 10 minutes or so of practice, we're going to use Marzano's scale. And Marzano's scale, basically, he says that if you're at one, that means that you need some help. At two, you feel like if I'm there kind of guiding you, you'll kind of get it. Number three says, well, I could do this independently, but I just need practice. And four says, I'm ready for a challenge. I think I need to be pushed. Show me. Okay, so that means when I say go, whatever you rated yourself, I want you to take care of your business. The four, I have nine copies right here. If, remember, there's an extra person needs more, then please share and work together. So for the fours, it's a challenge. In order to do it, you've got to remember that division and multiplication are inverses and can undo each other. For my threes, remember that you can use the computers, you can use the think pads, and you can also use the uh, uh, the iPads uh, at your desks for IXL Skill G3. Move with speed. One way that I've already tried to make Marzano's practice a little bit better and a little bit stronger is uh, to really have the kids tie their results on their assessments to what they self-assess themselves as during the lessons. So for example, a student who self-assessed as a three but failed a quiz, um, you know, that's a really good opportunity to kind of have a conversation and a reflection about where the student actually is in connection to this skill. But I, I'm not ready to just dictate just yet but where they where they go and what they do. I want them to learn these things as we go because those kind of learning moments are the most powerful and the most lasting.